Hello guys, welcome back to more Walking Dead. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm back now, recording full time. Well, not really full time since I only upload three times a week, but, you know, let's continue. Like, I know I said I would do this on Monday, but I still did not have my audio extender, which I have now. So, uh, I do have my audio extender now, so I'm gonna record. The reason why I uploaded an update video Monday is so people say, why didn't you upload? Well, I uploaded telling the reason why I don't up I don't know. I couldn't upload this on Monday. Okay, let's go. Just go nice and slow. Oh, the audio. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, the audio. I haven't been on this game for a while. I think it's just my headset. My headset's like really good. So it's like freaking sounds like it's a uh What about the image at 100 and my head says really good sound quality? Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yep. Shit! Oh, oh fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Fine! Kinda of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I don't know if I can turn it down on that. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy. There's no other way. I'm gonna slide down this pole now. Or a pipe. I think it's a pipe. That's not a pole. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me okay, because this headset is pretty loud. So I think the volume on OBS is recording the game out. You know, to make me feel better, I'm gonna turn down the game audio on OBS 2 a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, oh, come on, baby. Oh, yeah, let's get some action. Achievement unlocked, the Marsh House. Original name, guys, for the achievement. Eh, whatever. It's a cool name. The Marsh House. <laughs> now we're finding Clementine's room. What, did they already check all the rooms to make sure that Clementine's not in those rooms? Like, what makes them assume that this room's right here? That this room's the one Clementine's staying in? Yep, no sounds coming. There's nobody talking. No sounds going through that door. And. Open the door. Oh, 
Um, looks like he's trapping somebody in that door. And I can't open it because the ropes are tied. Oh shit. The fuck I got us adjoining rooms. Looks like Fred Rogers. I think that's his name. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I have a gun. You look horrible. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Go over there. Oh, yeah, I think people call him Mr. Rogers, actually. Duh, I remember. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Ah, oh, shut up. Dumbass. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Okay, dumbass. I only have one, which is the fucking talkie. Just be cool. I think. No, I Do have I one. Do I not stuff. seem cool? Well, you have a fucking gun in your hand. Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I do know how he is, but I'm gonna say that anyways. <laughs> you wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food. Yeah, that's the one. Things you need to survive. Recognize the station wagon. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yeah. Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm 
sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yeah, you do. Right on the gun. Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! She would have starved to death, freaking dumbass. You're a monster. So are you. You're a murderer. So are you. Thief. Well, I'm not sure so about the deep bad. part, though. Doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Dude, you're a psychopath. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six Well, days she didn't ago. tell me that, so how would I have known? I know how to be a dad, you know. Fucking idiot. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Do you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> I think this is all gonna work out. I'm gonna look for something else. I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but mm. it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. That's no good now. Just go away! Uh, 
You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. I got a nine to give him a name. started for a They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. From zombie guts all over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So, and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you. 
Actually never died. Oh shit. Stay close to me. Well you knew that was gonna happen anyway, you got bit. <laughs> we wake up. Please don't be dead. Please no. We I, I was so scared. I I I thought you left me. I I I saw my parents. We know. supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow.
get up, Lee? The door is right here. Try to get up. <clears throat> I can't. You have to. Then I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. What happened? There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Dude, stick to the side of the door. Don't stand right in front of it. I'm lucky the glass fell on the side. Don't, don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. He's got keys, probably to that door, and everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Get him! 
No! Okay, that was a kid. Don't see me. What should I get first? Oh my god. In case you have to make a run for it. Sorry about that, guys. Pretty frustrating. Went well, but the phone fell out. Uh. Watch out! Oh, that guy. My turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Cliff. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. Kill him. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Clem. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. It is, it is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes, you just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I don't think anyone does. I can do it. I, I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. Talk, I don't remember that. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Stay away from the cities. Definitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also. Good ending. <laughs> when the main character dies, who ever heard of such a thing? Wow. Okay.
The Walking Dead. Tell Tokyo's production. Based on the comic book by Robert Kirkland, Tony Moore, and Charlie's whoever that was. Remove police on review and twenty eight percent of the players didn't remove while stunt crew you and seventy four percent of the players lost their touch with Kenny. Gave up weapons. You and fifty nine percent of the players surrendered your weapons. Killed Clementine's captor, you and fifty seven percent of the players did not kill a stranger. Stopped Lee from turning. You and sixty three percent of the players made sure Lee did not turn. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate and he was lost to the herd trying to save Krista and that's Kenny. Th forgot what her name was already. Kenny's wife, I know that. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. Larry. Larry died in the most in the meat locker at the dairy. Lily, you backed her up when supplies went missing. You choose to reveal her, her past to her. Omid, you were separated after you crossed the sign. Oh, I now I remember Kenny's wife's name. Her name was Katja. Duh. Ben, you dropped him from the bell tower. Carly, you saved your life at the cost of a mother. You agreed with her to tell the others about your past. Krista, you revealed your bite to her. You asked her and Omid to find Clementine's family. Doug, you were with him when you found your brother. Duck, you argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. And you let him be, in, be your sidekick and solve a mystery. Wow. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave now. Please remember Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Don't forget to leave the like on this video if you enjoyed And I want the credits for me. See you guys later. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill Meet me where the snow melt flows It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again Skip and stones Braiding
Bye.